At most companies today who aren't using desktop virtualization, they've deployed desktop or laptop computers to their end users. On those desktop computers, processing is done of the application data, and most user data is stored locally on the computer. The operating system and applications may have been individually installed on every desktop or laptop, or they may have used imaging software or remote installation. In many cases, Windows roaming profiles are used for the user customizations, and file shares are used for end-user application data storage. In most cases, IT administrators are updating the applications and the operating systems installed locally on each PC using some sort of software deployment tool. While this may have worked when the company started small, as the company has grown to hundreds or thousands or tens of thousands of end-user desktop computers, the strain on the IT department to administer, support, and troubleshoot all these desktop PCs has just become a nightmare. There's too many PCs in use today. There's too much time spent on administration. There's too many application updates. PCs break. They have to be replaced because they have too many moving parts. They have fans. They have hard drives. They have uh, processor fans, CPU fans, memory that has to be upgraded, video cards that go out, and users can spill their, their Coke or their soda, whatever, on the keyboard. Uh, there's just too many problems with all these PCs that have been deployed. There's issues with roaming profiles and remote access. Users go home. They want to access their data. Or maybe they log in at a remote location across a wide area network and they have a large uh, desktop roaming profile that has to be downloaded. You end up with frustrated end users and exhausted desktop PC administrators. I'm thankful to introduce you to VDI or the Virtual Desktop Infrastructure. This is a generic term for desktop virtualization and I can tell you that VDI is here to step in and to help us solve these types of problems. With VDI, application patching is resolved with application virtualization. Deployment of desktop PCs to a large group of end users who's just starting is resolved with thin clients and link clone golden images so that you can roll out end user devices quickly and easily. Backup and recovery of end user desktops is resolved by the separation of user data from the applications and the operating system. And then users creating problems themselves is actually going to be resolved again by the separation of the user data from the work image. And I'll be explaining all these features and their benefits throughout this Intro to Desktop Virtualization course. But I'm here to tell you that VDI has a solution for just about every type of problem that affects the typical desktop infrastructure today. Not only is desktop virtualization here to help save the typical desktop administrator, but it's also here to help save the IT department lost efficiencies, help save the company money, and help save end users the frustration that they feel just trying to get their job done. Desktop virtualization is going to help you to add new desktops fast, both to the benefit of end users and administrators. You'll be able to reduce time and money administering and troubleshooting desktops once you implement desktop virtualization. You'll save the time that you spend maintaining end-user desktops. You won't have software applications to deploy, and you won't have end-user devices that break, and you have to go out and maintain them or replace them. Desktop virtualization will allow access to the same desktop wherever the user goes. So if they're at home, if they're on an iPad, or if they're in a location on the other side of the world, they'll be able to access the exact same desktop with the exact same response time that they have back at their desk at the corporate headquarters. Application upgrades and patches will now be fast and easy because all the applications will be maintained in the data center. The applications can be virtualized and it'll be as simple as replacing one executable with another executable thanks to application virtualization. And then finally, you'll obtain data center grade features like backup, disaster recovery, and high availability for your end user desktops that were typically only available to high-end servers in the past. Now let's get more specific as to the IT benefits to implementing VDI or desktop virtualization. As an IT administrator, a desktop support person, or an IT manager, you'll gain centralized control of your end user data, applications, and devices. You'll find greater security for your end user data because it's all stored in the data center that you already know is secured and protected. You'll gain fast deployments for new desktops. 
meaning if someone walks up and says, hey, I need 50 end-user desktops by tomorrow, you can suddenly say, no problem. I'll get out the thin client devices, I'll take my golden image, I'll make 50 clones of it, and you'll be ready to go. With VDI, you'll get built-in remote access for end users, meaning there's no more VPN and them having to copy large files back and forth, potentially over a slow WAN link or a slow internet link. Uh, VDI is going to give you built-in access to the same desktop that they use at the office, no matter where they go. And then finally, you'll gain fast operating system and application upgrades. Likely today, you're overwhelmed with the number of upgrades that have to be tested, deployed, and rolled out to potentially thousands of end-user desktops. With VDI, you'll be able to use application virtualization and then deploy those virtualized apps to your virtual desktop images in the data center. It'll be as simple as copying files and then having the end users even test side by side the new applications. With VDI, you'll gain built-in remote access for end users. No more do they have to connect over a VPN and try to run their applications or maybe even copy large files over a slow WAN link. With VDI, they'll have access to the exact same desktop no matter where they go in the world, and they'll get predictable performance out of that desktop. Finally, you'll gain fast operating system and application upgrades. You'll be able to move to new client operating systems and upgrade to the latest applications for your enterprise in a tenth of the time that it took before. There's a lot of benefits to IT, but there's also a lot of benefits to end users. End users will gain access to their company desktop with all their personalizations and all their company applications over the web or even over portable devices like iPads. They'll be able to get their applications and new operating systems faster than ever before. And if their end user device is old and up on lease and needs to be replaced or maybe it's broken, you can simply swap it out and reconnect and they'll be back on the exact same desktop they were at before. No more uh, imaging hard drives and restoring end user files back to the local hard drive. All these things take time, they frustrate users, and they make desktop support people look inefficient and slow. The end result with desktop virtualization is it's going to keep the villagers happy while improving their service levels and making IT more efficient. In fact, it could even make IT look like the heroes of the company. But what about the cost? I'm sure you're sitting back saying, yeah, all these things sound great, but this is going to cost a fortune. Well, with VDI, you can reduce or redirect desktop support people to other tasks. And you'll also be able to reduce power consumption with the thin client devices. So it's going to make your IT people more efficient, and it's going to save your company electricity. What it's going to do is to save on operational expenses, not capital expenses. In other words, VDI shouldn't cost you any more in hardware and software expenses in the long term. Uh, the savings is going to be obtained in your day-to-day -day operational expenses. And by the way, in a later lesson, I've got some VDI return on investment and total cost of ownership calculators where you can take your company's information related to IT support people, uh, number of end user devices, amount of time you spend, and how much money you spend now to support your existing desktop infrastructure and then it'll spit out or tell you um, how much money over time you'll save by implementing desktop virtualization.